Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. How to encrypt an existing Unraid array. Hi guys and welcome to the new video. Yes, it's finally here, I'm over my flu and ready to make some new videos. So this video, this video is gonna be about how to encrypt our existing array with the new disk encryption that's available in Unraid 6.4 and onwards. Now, as of making this video, it's not actually possible to do an in-place encryption of our existing data. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Unbalance plugin to move the data around on the array to empty a hard drive and then with that hard drive empty, we can then format it in a, with an encrypted file system. And I'm going to use an encrypted XFS. And then we'll use the Unbalanced plugin again to move the data from the next hard drive onto that blank formatted hard drive that's encrypted, which will then free up the next drive. And then we'll just go through the same process for each other drive until all of the drives which make up the array are formatted in an encrypted XFS. Now, obviously, one thing to note here is before starting, you must have enough free space on the array that's greater than the size of your largest disk. As you can see here on my array, the largest disk that I have is four terabytes. And at present, I've got 6.7 terabytes of free space on the array. So this will allow me to empty each disk, reformatting them in an encrypted XFS. Now, if you don't have enough free space and it's less than your largest disk, then you're gonna to have to add another hard drive to the array format it in an encrypted file system and then follow the video from there. Okay, so for this tutorial, there are three plugins which we're going to use. So let's install them quickly. And that's the Fix Common Problems plugin, the Unbalanced plugin and the Unassigned Devices plugin. So once these plugins are installed, let's go across to Settings and we're going to go to Disk Settings and change the default file system. Now you can see here for me it's XFS at the moment and I'm going to change it to XFS encrypted. Then click apply and then done. Okay, and to be using encrypted disks, we have to be using HTTPS. So you need to set that if you haven't already and that's in identification. Make sure your SSL certificate settings are all put in and correct. And if you don't know how to do that, then please see my video on Unraid 6.4. Now let's go back to settings again. And now we're going to scroll down to the unbalance at the bottom here and click onto that. And we have to enable the unbalance server. So let's select yes and apply. Now, one thing to note here, normally we click on open web UI and it will go straight into the web UI. But because we're using HTTPS, um, that's not going to work. If we click onto this, you can see it just says the site can't provide a secure connection. So what we need to do is just put the port number in, the 6237 and our IP address of the Unraid server. And for me, that's 10.10.20.199. And that brings us to the Unbalanced Web UI, which is where we can see all of our data disks which make up the array, including the cache drive. And here we can see the size of each disk and how full each one is, etc. Now, by default, Unbalanced starts on the scatter setting which is what we want to use. And what the scatter function does is it will move selected data from a hard disk and scatter it across the other selected drives. So I'm selecting disk one as that's the disk that I want to empty first. And I'm going to select all of the subdirectories here as I want all of the data to be moved. Now, one thing to note, which we'll come back to in a moment, is that for large directories, such as my media directory here, I found if I didn't select the subfolders in that directory, then I couldn't move it, as it didn't think there was enough free space. Let me show you what happened. To go on to the next stage, we have to press the plan button. But first, I want to deselect the cache drive as a destination for this data to be moved to. Okay, so at this stage, I thought everything would be fine. So I pressed the plan button to see if everything had enough room to be moved. But the planning stage failed, telling me that there wasn't actually enough room to move the folder media. Now, I knew there actually was enough room, so I thought this was strange. So, as a test, I decided to only select the media folder on disk one, and then see if the planning would fail again. Which it did, so I figured that Unbalance wants to move the whole folder as is to another disk. 
and there just wasn't enough room for this. So I decided to select all of the subfolders in the media folder and see if it better move them then. And this time it was fine as it was only moving subfolders individually. However, Unbalance found some permission errors that needed fixing before moving the data. So I ran the Docker safe permissions to fix this, which is part of the Fix Common Problems plugin. So now with the permissions fixed, I could now select everything on disk one, but making sure that all the large folders that I'd selected, that I'd also selected the subfolders as well. This time, the planning was reporting it was okay to start. So I unticked dry run and then clicked on to move to clear the data off disk one. So now it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting. This does take rather a long time to transfer the data. I'm not transferring a lot of data off this drive, only 1.55 terabytes and it takes about six hours. And the speed of the transfer, while well, it's varying between 70 and 60 megs per second. It could be faster than that if I didn't have the parity drive attached. But for now, whilst clearing this drive, I thought I'd leave the parity drive attached. Okay, so now we're down to two hours left and the speed's gone a bit slower. It's only 37 megs per second at the moment. Okay, and now we've pretty much finished. That's the last 10 seconds. And Unbalance is telling us that we've got four terabytes free on disk one, so that's totally empty. And we can see the same here on the Unraid web UI. It does say here that there's four gigabytes used, but if you actually look on the disk itself, then it says there's actually nothing in there. So I think that's just being incorrectly reported. Now, the next thing to do is really important. So please don't skip this step. Either write down your disk assignments or take a screenshot of the disk assignments as we'll need this later. Right, next we're gonna to have to stop the array. And then click on to tools. And now we're going to click on to new configuration. And the only assignments I'm gonna preserve is gonna be the cache drive. So I'm going to select cache slots and then click yes, I want to do this and then click apply and then done. And so now what this has done is it's cleared all of our unraid disk configuration. So now we're going to have to reassign our disks. And that's why it was so important to take note of what they were earlier. So here I'm going to assign the disks just as they were, but I'm not going to assign a parity disk this time. That means by not assigning the parity disk, the writes will be faster when moving the data around next. Now this bit is important. What I have to do is I have to unassign disk one. That will make it an unassigned device. And using the unassigned devices plugin, I can remove the partition so the disk will need to be formatted again when the array starts. So let's remove the partition on the drive that we just emptied. And so now we can assign back the disk to disk one and then we can start up the array. And once the array is started, will be prompted to format the disk because it will say it's an unsupported partition layout. So all we need to do is to check, yes, I want to do this and then just click format. And then Unraid will format it in the default file system, which because we changed it earlier to an encrypted XFS, the drive will be formatted as an encrypted drive. Okay, good, so now we're getting somewhere. We've got our first encrypted disk, so what we want to do now is to move the contents from disk two over onto the empty encrypted disk one. And this will do two things. The data we're copying over onto disk one will become encrypted and disk two will be emptied so it can be erased and then formatted as another encrypted XFS disk. Okay, so we need to go back to unbalance. And so for unbalance to see what we've just done with the disks, we need to disable and then re-enable the unbalance server. And again, we want to scatter the data. So I'm going to select disk two this time. And I'm going to uncheck disk three, four, five, and the cache drive. And I'm going to select all of the folders inside of disk two, and then click on plan. And as there are no errors with the planning stage, now I'm going to not click move this time, but I'm going to click copy. And the reason for this is because I'm not using a parity drive anymore. So I think copying the data is safer just in case the drive that I'm copying to should fail for any reason. And you can see here now that I'm not using the parity drive that the copy speed is a lot faster than when we had that as part of the array. 
OK, so all of the data is now copied across from disk 2 to disk 1. So now let's look at the Unraid web UI. So we can see that disk 2 and disk 1 are now the same. So now I'm going to stop the array and then I'm going to erase disk 2. So let's remove disk 2 from the array and select no device. So now that disk will appear as an unassigned device. So then we can just remove the partition. Right, OK, next we're going to do just as we did before. We're going to head across to Tools and then we're going to choose to set up a new configuration. And as before, the only configuration I'm going to keep is the cache slots. OK, and so just as before, all we need to do now is just set up our disk configuration just as it was originally. But obviously I'm not going to have a parity again. Then we just need to start the array and then we need to format the disk. And so now that's disk 2 empty and formatted as an encrypted XFS disk. And so now we just need to work through with the same process for the next disks. Now I'm not going to bore you by going through the same and again and again. So let's skip forward to the last disk. So now here I am at the point where I've just copied the contents of disk 5 to disk 4. So now I just need to erase disk 5 and format it as an encrypted XFS disk which will then make the array fully encrypted. And this being the last disk will do everything exactly the same except for one thing. We will obviously make a new configuration and add all the disks back to the array except this time we're also going to add the parity drive back as there are no more disks to move data from. OK so with all the disks now assigned let's start up the array. And you can see here it wants to do a parity sync, but I'm going to cancel this because I haven't formatted the other disk yet. So let's select format here and then click on format. And so now number five disk formatted in encrypted XFS. So now it's time to start a parity sync and sync up all the data. And that's just done now. And it took me eight hours, 44 minutes and everything's now synced and all of the array is encrypted. And I'm not sure if you can remember when I started, but I've still actually got 6.71 terabytes free. And the only difference is, other than obviously the encrypted files, is disk 5 is empty. So guys, that's how to encrypt an existing array. Now please, please be really careful if you do this, because it is easy to make a mistake and you could end up formatting good data. So please really be careful if you do this. But if you follow the steps carefully, then you should be fine. So that brings us to the end of this video and I really hope it's useful for you and that you enjoyed watching it. If you did then please hit up that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you'd like to support the channel then any donations are really appreciated which you can do from the PayPal or Patreon links in the description or the channel homepage. Anyway guys whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.